Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating with examples the use of the DBMS output line statement and the assignment statement in the body of a program. First of all, every PL SQL block should have a body. I have SQL star plus open and I'm going to write a program which uh, shows you that a body is essential to a PL SQL block. Now I've written the word begin and what I'm going to do is simply end the program uh, with a semicolon after the word end, a forward slash indicating that I've finished with the block and what I get in is an error which tells me that it's encountered the symbol end when expecting one of the following. What really happened was that I should have had at least one statement between the begin and the end. The first example that I'm going to show you is um, with uh, with a single statement inside the body uh, inside the body of the program is a do nothing program where uh, between the begin and the end I'm going to write the keyword null followed by the word end and the execution of the block notice that it tells me that the PL SQL procedure has completed successfully this PL SQL program really doesn't do anything but what it uh, highlights is the fact that between the begin and the end you should have at least one executable statement even if it's a do nothing statement the null statement in this program really doesn't do anything however there are certain practical uses of a null statement which I'll show you in uh, future tutorials in my next uh, PL SQL program that I'm going to write, I'm going to put a DBMS output line statement between the begin and the end. Notice that uh, I've, in the first two examples, I've written the PL SQL program at the SQL prompt. However, this is not really good programming practice. Whenever you are writing a program, it's always good to write the program inside a file and then run the file. I'm going to create a file. I'm going to call this as uh, edit file 1, F1. The name of my file is F1. Um, the notepad has opened. Uh, it's asking me whether I want to create the file and I'm going to say yes. You no notice that a file by the name F1 is being created. Uh, a file uh, that's created using the edit command will always have a .sql extension which can be executed from a SQL prompt. Here I'm going to write a program with the word begin, uh, a DBMS output line statement. The DBMS output line takes as its input uh, a character string. So I'm going to write the words hello world. Uh, the words hello world have been enclosed in single quotes followed by end and forward slash. I'm going to save and exit. I've come back to the SQL prompt. I'll execute the file by typing at F1. Now I don't get any output, it tells me PL SQL procedure completed successfully. The reason being that when I want to display the result of DBMS output line on the screen or redirect the output on the screen, then a, a set command needs to be executed from SQL star plus. This set command is set server out on or sometimes it's ser set server output on, both of them do the same thing. Um, I've, did, I, I've just written set server out on, I'm going to repeat my at command saying at F1 and this time notice that the string hello world is displayed on the, on the screen followed by uh, PL SQL procedure completed successfully. So in the next example that I'm going to show you, I'm going to uh, create a variable in the declaration section. I'm going to initialize the variable with a value and then display the result or the value of the variable on the screen. I'm going to do edit F2. Once again it tells me that the file is not found. I want to create it. I'm going to declare a variable with the, the keyword declare. The variable name is VE name. It's a varchar2 variable with a size of 10. I'm going to initialize it to the string SID. I'm going to start the body of the program and there's going to be a display statement. Now I'm not going to display a string but I'm going to display a variable and the variable is the VENAME variable. Notice that I've not enclosed it in single quotes. I've closed the parentheses. I've terminated the statement followed by my end forward slash. Uh, do I want to save the changes? Yes. Executing the statement it now shows me the, val the name of uh, the variable which is SID followed by the, the completion of the PL SQL block. In my next example, I'm going to create a numeric variable and display it on the screen. 
I'm going to say edit F3. The name of the variable is N1. It's going to be a numeric variable. I'm going to initialize it to 10 during declaration. I'm going to display the value of the variable as is, uh, just like I did in the case of a character variable. I'm going to close it. Uh, it tells me do I want to save the changes. Yes, at F3. The value which was contained in the variable is being displayed on the screen, followed by the execution was done uh, successfully. Now let me edit that program which was F3 and include a string. Um, so that what displays is uh, the string, the number is followed by the contents of the variable n1. Now I'm going to uh, put in a single quote followed by the number is. Now this is just a string. I want a colon. I'm going to close the quote to end the string. And uh, what I have to do is combine this string with the contents of the variable. This can be done by making use of the double pipe symbol. Now the double pipe symbol is usually above the enter key on top of the forward slash, uh, on top of the black backslash. I'm going to file save and uh, exit at F3. Notice that I get a string which creates the output uh, in a more readable format. It tells me the number is and followed by the contents of the variable n1. I'm go going to edit F3 so that I can make another change to the program. I have my variable called n1 which is initialized to 10 and this time I'm going to remove uh, whatever is contained in DBMS output line and I'm going to create an expression. The expression is, uh, is n1 plus 40 which would mean that the contents of the variable n1 will be added to the number 40 to create the result 50 and that is what should be displayed on the screen. Notice that 50 is now being displayed on the screen uh, as the result of the DBMS output line. Let me edit the program once again. Now in this program what happened was uh, the variable n1 contained the value 10. 10 was added to 50. Uh, to 40 to create 50 which is a numeric value and what Oracle did was it implicitly converted the 50 to a character string and was able to display the, the, the value 50 which is a character string through the DBMS output line. Now what I'm going to do is try to include a string in this program which will show which would read as the number after adding 40 is Okay, and I'm going to close my quote followed by my double pipe which was normally used to combine the two strings. I'm going to try to execute this program. And this time I get an error and the error is because the implicit conversion to a character string was not being done. It tells me numeric or value error, a character to number conversion error. So what I'll have to do is edit my program now uh, what it was unable to do was convert this uh, arithmetic expression to a character string and when you have to display uh, either a char uh, an arithmetic expression or, an, uh, or even a numeric variable it's always a good programming practice to include the two char function around uh, the, the expression like this Okay, so the uh, n1 plus 40 is uh, the parameter that goes into the two char function so that the two char function is able to convert the result of n1 plus 40 to a character string and then it's this character string combined with this character string to display a proper output. This time I'm getting an output which says the number after adding 40 is 50. So the two chart function needs to be added uh, or used whenever you want to display a numeric variables or uh, uh, or any kind of the uh, of an expression that uh, isn't automatically being converted to a character string and that needs to be displayed through the DBMS output line statement. We'll now look at an example of the use of the assignment operator. I'm going to edit my statement F3. 
and I'm going to make a number of changes to this program. First of all, I've declared the variable as n1, which is of number type. Let me remove its initialization. Um, it's terminated with a semicolon. I have the begin uh, for the program, starting the body of the program. I'm now going to have an assignment statement. Now an assignment statement is used when you want to assign a value to a variable or assign an expression to a variable. Now uh, in the first case I'm going to assign uh, the value 0 to n1. The assignment operator is colon followed by the equal sign. I'm going to uh, assign the value 0 to the variable. I'm going to modify the string so that it reads as the first value of n1 is and let me have this as two char of n1 okay that's my first uh, assignment statement followed by its display statement I'm going to um, hit enter create another assignment statement where I'm going to assign the value 20 to n1 okay um, I'm going to copy this display statement paste it because again I want to display the value of n1 however it's the second value of n1 in the third example I'm going to uh, create an arithmetic expression and assign the result of that arithmetic expression to n1 so it's going to be n1 is assigned n1 plus 2 now when you uh, refer to a variable name on the right hand side of an arithmetic uh, uh, on the right hand side of an assignment operation the value that's taken by the n1 will be the current value of n1 so in uh, if you want to understand what i've just written it would be the new value of n1 is equal to the current value of n1 plus 2 now the current value of n1 is 20 so as a result of this assignment the new value that will be contained in n1 will be 22 I'm going to have a, a display statement where this display statement would be would have the string incrementing the value of n1 by 2 and then the result of uh, or the value of n contained in n1 uh, in the next assignment that I'm going to do, I'm going to assign n1 to the result of an arithmetic uh, expression 3 multiplied by 5 plus 4. Now 3 multiplied by 5 is uh, 15, 15 plus 4 will be 19. So 19 should be the result of, uh, of the arithmetic expression and that should be the value that is contained in n1. I'm changing the string n1 taking the result of the arithmetic is and the value contained in n1 I'm ending my program with the end followed by the forward slash save exit and run the program f3 notice I've got a series of, uh, of outputs being displayed the first value of n1 is 0 the second value of n1 is 20 this was when I set uh, n1 to be equal to 20 then we had incrementing the value of n1 by 2 is 22 this is because I had the expression n1 is equal to n1 plus 2 so the 20 was added to the 2 to create 22 and then I have the fourth uh, DBMS output line statement which shows me that n1 taking the result of the arithmetic is 19 where n1 was taking the result of 3 uh, times 5 plus 4 in this tutorial I showed you a number of different examples using the DBMS output line statement and the assignment statement in a PL SQL block I hope you find this tutorial useful for more videos tutorials and articles you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website thank you for your time and thank you for listening